Hey, how are you doing? My name's Dar. I'm going to show you a video of how I use high level to help in this case, uh, a local business who's a chiropractor become the authority in their city. And so let me give you some premise on this. We use high level for all kinds of things for our clients. In this case, we're using the automations inside of high level to, um, to help this guy win votes. Right, to help, it, help this doctor become the authority in the city. So here's the premise. Um, there are many cities that have like the best of the city's awards. So I think you walk into a restaurant, they may have a little ward up that says, you know, voted best in the city or community's choice award. Or you go into a doctor's office and the same thing or a dentist's office, best dentist in the city. And so when you see that, it gives you a sense of, confidence like yeah i'm in a legit place not only am i in a legit place but i'm in a place that like other people have voted the best right so it immediately gives the customer or the consumer confidence raises their trust level in the uh, business that they are visiting or purchasing from or you name it then it also gives that office status as the best in the city. Like only one can be best in the city. Now, here's the trick or, you know, the truth is there are a lot of great businesses. In this case, there are a lot of great chiropractors in the city, um, but only one of them can be voted the best. And usually the way it works is that a uh, there's generally like a, a, a an organization, usually it's a media outlet like a, a newspaper or a magazine, like a city magazine, citywide newspaper, something like that, that's organizing these like best of awards. And they have ulterior motives because they want eyeballs on their media, whether it's their magazine, their newspaper, whatever it is. So they want to get more subscribers. And so what they do is they enlist all the local businesses through this competition or through a competition just that, that says, get your customers, your patients, et cetera, to nominate you and to vote for you. So the businesses, you know, they put out the word, hey, please nominate, please vote. And the media outlets, what they do is in order for someone to be able to vote, they have to subscribe, right? Or they have to opt in, give their email address, etc. And then they're allowed to vote because of this process. It's not frictionless. And so a business, let's say a plumber might say, Hey, please vote for us for the best plumber of the city awards. And so they ask all their customers uh, to vote for them, or actually they're probably too busy running their business that they don't remember to ask people to do that. The few that they ask, you know, then that person, that customer has to, know what link to to go click on know where to find it then they have to go through the process of doing it they may be busy and spending time with their family or doing whatever who knows activities and then they are like i'll get to that later and then they never get to it and so a lot of these really good businesses actually don't get voted for because they just don't have a process in place and so what i'm about to show you is how we use high level to automate that full process so in the example that I'm going to show you for Dr. Mike, which by the way, did win again this year. You're not going to see that in the video because when I did this training video that we're going to clip to, it was uh, a few months ago and I, I show you how the setup is and how everything works. Uh, but since then, I can tell you that Dr. Mike has won again. So he was nominated among the top five best in the city. And then those top five, get voted on for the best in the city. And it's the number of votes you get from uh, customers who um, believe in you, like you, trust you, et cetera. So we automated the whole process. Dr. Mike just blew away the competition because we were able to automate it inside of a high level. And um, of course now he has more authority in the city because he's the best doctor of the city actually like four years running now. So because, you know, we had this down. Um, I'll wrap up by saying this. When you can do this, whether it's for your own business, which increases the authority in your own business, so then you get more customers, it's a win, more cash flow for your business and so forth. 
but also when you do this for your customers. So let's say you have a high level account, you have a high level agency, and you're able to do this to help your customer gain more authority, gain more status, ultimately gain more customers. It's a real win for them and it's a real win for you. Because I can tell you most people using the high level aren't doing this kind of thing. They're doing the basics like a, appointment reminders and review campaigns. And I have other training videos that I can show you about that. But this is like taking it one step further. And it's really not that complicated. If you follow along, you can see how it goes. And then um, lastly, I actually have a snapshot of it that I'm giving away. There's no strings attached. Uh, I've given it away in my Facebook group. And I'll do a link to the communities so you can join my free community if you want uh, this snapshot that you can put in your high-level account. Uh, anyway, that's it. So we're going to jump in. Enjoy the video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Everything you need is going to come in the snapshot. You're just going to have to edit it. First thing, you're going to go down to settings. And in settings, you're going to see tags and custom values. So for tags, I have community choice awards and then voted community choice awards. These are just here as an example for you. You can use them or you can rename the tags to whatever the competition is in your particular city. Next, we're gonna to go to custom values. And in custom values, I have a custom value called community choice awards. It's the one that I used. You would name it whatever you would want to name it. And then this value, you'll need to put in the value of the destination URL and click edit custom value. We're gonna put what the value is. Now in this case, this is the website for the Daily Oklahoman who's putting on this contest. And while we're here, just so you know I'm not pulling your leg, there it is, Spears Family Chiropractic. They're in the top five. The destination URL, let me just bring this down. I would grab this, put it here as the value of the custom value, and then hit update. Now I'm not actually gonna do that at the moment because this is the live snapshot that I'm gonna give you so I don't want that in there. Now you're gonna to go to marketing and trigger links. We've got one trigger link, which is the Community Choice Awards. The value for the Community Choice Awards is the custom value that we just filled out in custom values. So if you put it in custom values, it will automatically populate here. And that's what you want it to do. Now let's go to the workflows and show you how all this works. I'm gonna to go to automation. There's only one folder in here, and in that one folder, I've got four different workflows, and you'll see the similarities. Now, your scenario might be different, right? Your city, your awards, or whatever it is, might be different. So this is just how I've built this one for how the contest runs here in Oklahoma City. But for you, it might be different. In Oklahoma City, what they do is they get every, nominate the local business that you want to win, the you know Reader's Choice Awards or Community Choice Awards, of all the businesses that are nominated, the top five in each category, they get the most votes, then those are the ones that you actually get to vote on. So there's a nomination sequence, and then there's a vote for me sequence if you're lucky enough to get nominated in the top five. And so what I've got is uh, workflows one and two work together, workflows three and four work together. So for nominations, here we go. There's no trigger in this because I'm dumping people into the workflow, in this case, for Dr. Mike, we're, we're putting his active patients in here for you and your business or a local business. You're going to put their customer list in here and you want to make sure it's a clean list. Obviously, don't spam people. First thing we do is the event start time. Now, what the event start time is like the deadline in this case. So nominations open and nominations close at a certain date. So let's say the date is two weeks from now. We would come in here and select the specific date and time, choose your date, choose your time, hit save. Uh, actually, I would put it up here as well. The reason we're doing that event start time is because we're going to do reminders leading up to that. First message, you'll need to edit this. This is roughly what we've said. Give it your own language, but I'm giving you a good head start. The message says, hi, contact first name. Hi, Steve. Uh, my name is Jill. I work with business owner and I'm secretly sending this to you. Business owner cares a lot for his customers, so I thought it'd be nice to show how much we appreciate them. If you've received great service from business owner and feel they're deserving, would you kindly nominate them for the Community Choice Awards? Now you would put in whatever the awards name is in your city. Nominations are open now. 
click the link below to nominate. Thank you and have a great week. And then this is our trigger link. Earlier when I showed you the trigger links that had the value of the custom value, that's gonna populate here. Now let's imagine this trigger link wasn't there. We are gonna put in a trigger link. So we're gonna go this, we're gonna go trigger links and community choice awards. Because I only have one trigger link in the trigger link area, this is the only one for me to choose. See, you wanna have your opt out as well. You wanna be compliant. And if you wanna add an attachment, add a logo, whatever you can, and then hit save. Then I'm gonna wait two minutes and an email goes out that says basically the same thing. You go ahead and edit it. Again, we've got the trigger link in here. And by the way, when you load this into your snapshot and load everything, don't just use this trigger link that's here. You need to update the trigger link here in the, um, here in the body of the message. And so now I'm gonna wait four days before it. And this just happened to work for my sequence. You do whatever makes sense for you. I'm gonna wait four days before the event start time. And then we have an if else statement that says, do they have community choice awards tag? But let me pause here and take you to the next workflow and then we'll come back to this workflow. So now I'm in the second workflow that says trigger link clicked. So when we send out that first message and we have the trigger link, when someone clicks that trigger link, that's the trigger for this workflow. So trigger link clicked, and uh, you can see the trigger link is Community Chores Awards. So when that link is clicked, what we've got is, first of all, we're gonna remove them from the previous workflow. So we've got remove from this nomination workflow. Then I'm gonna add a tag, Community Chores Awards. Then I'm gonna wait 20 minutes, and then I'm gonna send them another message. And the reason I'm waiting 20 minutes is because here at the actual place where you have to nominate them, when you wanna click to vote or click to nominate, you've gotta opt in. And sometimes it takes people a little while to do that. So I just wanna give the customer time to get through that process. And then I'm gonna say, hey, Steve, just wanted to thank you uh, for clicking the link to nominate the business owner for the Community Choice Awards. So let's go back to this first workflow. We've sent out the messages, it has the trigger links. Now we're back at the if else statement. Now, little side note, on if else statements, when people are building out workflows, they'll click an action and it'll just say condition. A lot of people don't actually title the steps. I like to title my steps because this way I can look at it and say, okay, I know what's going on. I've got my event. Now, if this were me, I would actually have the event start date listed, what the date is. Then I've got, you know, SMS number one, nominate, email, nominate wait four days, and then rather than it's if else saying condition, I'm actually saying what the conditions are so I can look at it and say, okay, did they have the tag community choice awards? Yes, they clicked and removed from this workflow or no, they haven't. So when we open this up, we've got a branch, yes, they clicked. And the condition is actually tag includes community choice awards or no, they still haven't clicked. And in case you're wondering, why do I have remove from workflow here when I have it in the other workflow? You know, it doesn't hurt to be better safe than sorry. If they clicked, we're not asking them anymore. But if they still haven't clicked, then we're gonna send SMS number two. And it's a close version to the first one we already sent them. Just wanna remind you, community choice nominations are now open. Yeah, go through there, add the trigger link, wait two minutes, email says the same thing. Then I'm gonna wait one day before the event start time which is the last day to nominate. You know, do they have the tag? If so, means they clicked to possibly nominate, remove from the workflow. If they don't, then this is the last time we're gonna ask. Tomorrow's the last day to nominate, business owner, et cetera, et cetera. Email as well, wait 30 minutes. Um, either take them out of the way workflow. And this is just a safety step. This wait seven days, just so people are there in case you wanna do something else with them. You don't have to, you can just let them leave the workflow. So now you've got your local business nominated, they're in the top five or whatever it is, and they made it so they can get voted. So now let's go into this. Here I actually put a date in, because this is actually live going on in my other SaaS high-level account uh, for chiropractor Dr. Mike, and so this is the date. And I've got a message that says, Hi, Steve. Thanks to you, business owner has been nominated in the top five of chiropractors. How about we take chiropractor out of there? 
in the top five for the Community Choice Awards. If you receive great service from a business owner who would like to see them win, please click the link below to cast your vote. Thank you in advance. Now, in this case, the Community Choice Awards here in Oklahoma City are using the same link, but you want to make sure that if there is a different link for a different URL link for the nominations as opposed to the voting, that you want to update that in your trigger links. There it is. Remove for opt out. So it's the exact same sequence. Email, uh, you know, we've been nominated. Please vote. Then I'm waiting four days before the last day to vote. Do they have the tag, Community Choice Awards? If so, remove them from the workflow. If not, ask again. And so that's the sequence. Hopefully that helps you. I'll show you the last workflow, which is just the trigger link clicked on voting. Well, here we have trigger link clicked. Again, is the Community Choice Awards. We're removing them from the please vote workflow. This one. There we go. We're going to add a tag voted. Now you can also remove these tags. When this is all done, you can remove these tags or you can leave those tags just so you happen to know which customers nominated, which customers voted. You can actually add an action in the workflow for engagement scores. And I'm going to wait 20 minutes like I did on the last one and thank them for clicking the link to vote. We're not going to presume they voted. We're just going to say, just want to say thanks for clicking the link to vote for business owner for the community choice awards a couple of things that does is it thanks them obviously and then maybe they clicked maybe they got started and they got distracted so this just says hey thanks for clicking the link to vote for and then we're like oh yeah i gotta finish that up i hope this was helpful if it was do me a favor and give me a comment or uh, you know in the high level facebook group i would really really appreciate that I would love a testimonial if this helps you in any way. This is free to you. If it worked for you, I would just love that feedback. It means a lot to me. Uh, I have other trainings, so if you want to check out the YouTube channel, feel free to check that out. Check out the website at darholdsworth.com. Thanks so much for your interest in this. I hope that helps you in your business, and uh, we'll see you later. Bye. I hope you enjoyed that video, and it was helpful to you. Now, depending on where you're at in your journey of an online business, whether you have a high-level account or not, uh, this video might have, might have been very foreign to you or might have been very familiar to you. Don't worry about that. I'm curating videos here on the channel that are for beginners to introduce you to high-level and how it can be utilized for your business or also how it can be utilized for you to sell to other businesses. And, and I'm also recording in more advanced stuff. And so there'll be something for everyone uh, I do have this snapshot, which I just recorded. Uh, I have it as a free snapshot. If you have a high level account, uh, you can go to the communities. I'll link below how you can get into my free community where you learn more about high level. And I'll have this snapshot in there so you can grab it, put it in your high level account. If you don't have a high level account, you can use my affiliate link to get one, at which point you'll get uh, a free trial, either a 14 day or a 30 day tr free trial based on whatever it is that, uh, whichever agent plan you sign up for on high level, and then all my assets to help support you on your journey in high level. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. I will respond to them as quickly as I can. And that's it for today. I will see you on the next video. Bye.